What is going on in the body when you're on this ketogenic diet, and how does it affect seizures and seizure control? It's a Great question in two parts. So okay. we, we know what happens when you're on the diet, but we don't know completely why that helps suppress seizures. We know that during the first day, which is usually a fasting period, we know your insulin levels will drop, your glucose levels will drop. So normally, if you give the body carbohydrates, protein, glucose, your body will go for the glucose. If you do not provide glucose, your body has to get it from an alternative fuel source, be it protein or fat. Ketogenic uh, refers to the fact that when you break down fats, uh, they will make ketone bodies. Uh, those ketone bodies are then used as an energy source. So they knew that the diet was ketogenic. It creates ketones. Okay. So we know those ketones then go from the liver into the blood, or they go into the brain and we think initially that's what was thought was why they helped seizures. That like a drug, ketones in your blood, in your spinal fluid, anywhere would help suppress seizures. The dietitian will calculate the meals, will figure out what ketogenic ratio, which is the ratio of fats to carbohydrates and protein. And what is the history? Where did this diet, where did it come from? It's one of the oldest therapies we have for epilepsy. How old? Uh, probably about 2,000 years. Wow. And they knew that periods of starvation were very, very helpful. Eventually, though, you would have to give food again. In 1921, at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, they created the first ketogenic diet. And then in the sort of early 1990s, things changed again. What happened? So 1993, a parent came to see us at Johns Hopkins. Uh, the parent had a child with very severe epilepsy, and uh, the diet worked within about a week stopped his seizures. Within a week. His name was Charlie. His mm -hmm. father was a movie producer. Mm, the word got out. And he created the Charlie Foundation mm -hmm. uh, as a way to get the word out to other parents that there was another option besides medicine. Does Nadia have any special foods or, or favorite foods of the diet that you typically make for her? Or Yeah, the, her, the one snack she really likes is the um, peanut butter and butter snack. Mm -hmm. And it's just peanut butter and butter in a certain ratio. Made into like a ball or something? Or how do you actually eat peanut butter and butter? You can make it into a ball. For Nadia, what we do is um, we just cut the butter, put it into a container, put the peanut butter in there and stir it up. And Nadia can't feed herself, so we have to feed her. So we spoon that um, to her. Do you chart all her food that you give her every day? I mean, do you make a list of, I gave her X amount of this butter today and this cream? We do kind of keep track. We don't write it down, but but it stands out in our minds when we give her something mm -hmm. different. And Especially for a feeding clinic, for, you know. because David will say, so what do you want to try this week, or what, what does the therapist want? And they're like, hey, we're going to do pizza, because pizza is challenging for her. It is a tremendous amount of cheese. She could easily choke on that. Oh, so I we see, want so her so proficient in chewing and swallowing that before we take it home, and I make sure I can do it at home before I ask school to do it. I've tasted, you know, all the different types of meals that we've made for her. I mean, they're, it's normal ingredients for the most mm -hmm. part. So let's say, though, just for instance, if you're sitting down with her and you're feeding her, and this has to be the specific ratio, mm -hmm. and she doesn't like something, so now you have to, like, quick make an adjustment. What do you do? We always make sure we give her the carb portion last because usually it's separate to make sure that we're keeping her in a state of ketosis. If it's kind of a casserole type thing where everything's in one bowl, then the ratio is, is the same and it doesn't matter. She eats half of it, she just loses calories. Mm -hmm.